Welcome to my channel. My name is Steven. And in this channel, I will be sharing how I use technology to help me with my daily life. This is going to be a long how-to video where we will be pairing this to this over this. Fortunately, you can go right to the part you want as there is chapter built into this video. Just refer to the chapter listing in the description below and click on the timestamp to go straight to the section that you want. Okay, with the intro out of the way, let's have a look at this. At the front, it says it's a smart plug and you can work with Google Assistant and Amazon Alexa. But today we will be pairing it with a free app. And then you can upgrade it to Google Assistant and Amazon Alexa later. As mentioned, we will be pairing it with a free app over Wi-Fi. And once it's done, you can set timers, schedules and other automation. As for specification, you can handle a maximum load of 16 amp or 3120 watts. Let's open it up and take a look. We have the user menu. There's no need to go through it as well. I will be walking you through the entire process. It's, some of the pictures are actually very small inside and I can't even read it. Next, the smart plug and nothing else inside the box. The front of the plug, you will note that it's a standard 3-pin Malaysian style plug. It is equipped with the child safety covers. The live wire connectors are covered and small children can't stick their fingers on anything else through it and get electrocuted. On the side, there is a single on-off and reset switch. On the back, besides the 3 pin, you can see a raised platform. I really like this design. Some of the newer homes nowadays come with power sockets with large on-off switch. Some even extend from the top to the bottom of the switch. This raised platform helps to clear those switches. If it doesn't have this, your plug may be sitting on or blocking the original power switch. Okay, moving on, there's nothing on the other side. Okay, we are now ready to pair the smart plug. But before we do, we just want to go through some minimum requirement. First, we need a smartphone or a tablet running on either Android or iOS. Next, you need to get the free app. You can either use the Smart Life app or the To Your Smart app. Both apps interface is identical, so you can follow along this video without any issues. The apps is available in both the Google Play Store and the Apple App Store. You need to install the app and sign up for an account. Lastly, and this is important, you need to connect your phone or tablet to a 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi. Most smart home devices will only connect via the 2.4 GHz band. Wi-Fi router nowadays are dual band. That means that you can connect your devices using either the 5 GHz or 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi band. You just need to make sure you're connected to the right band for the setup to work. Now let's set it up. Insert the plug onto the power socket but don't turn on the power. Next, start the app on your phone or tablet and you will be brought to the home screen. If this is the first time you're pairing a smart item, your home screen will be empty. Mine has already two items paired with the app. To start pairing, tap the plus icon at the top right. Here you will be presented with a list of items you can pair with the app. On the left column, you need to select electrical. Since it's at the top, this is usually selected by default. If it's not, select it. On the right column, you want to select socket bracket Wi-Fi. Should be the second icon on the top row. Next, you will be asked to provide your 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi SSID and password so that your smart plug can connect to it. Once done, tap next. Now the app will ask you to switch power on to your smart plug. Let's switch it on and look for a flashing blue light in the on off switch and tap next. If you do not see the flashing light after waiting for 10 seconds, press and hold the on off switch for 5 seconds to put the smart plug into pairing mode. Once you see the flashing blue light, check the confirmed indicator is blinking rapidly and tap next. 
This next section automatically finds and pair your smart plug to the app. This part will usually not take more than 30 seconds. Once it's done, you will have an option to rename the plug. Give it a name so that you can easily identify what is plugged into this smart plug. I'm going to call mine Test Fan 1. You understand why in a while. To complete the process, tap on Done. You will be brought to this setting page. Since this is a plug, there is nothing much here, just an on off switch. Tap once to switch it on. You will also see the blue light indicating that the smart plug is on. Tap it again to switch it off. You would have noticed that I've added a fan just to better demonstrate the on and off function. The blue light at the plug may be a bit hard to see in video, hence the plug name. You can manually switch on or off the smart plug and your app will also register the manual input. Here I manually switch it on from the smart plug and you can see the app picks it up too. And I can switch off from the app. Okay, this is a long video. Let's get to the bonus tip. All of us uses a smartphone. One of my use is to attach the smart plug onto my phone charger. I am one of those who don't like the phone to be charged overnight. Although the manufacturer may say it's okay, don't like the heat build up on the phone while charging and possibly killing my battery or the phone prematurely. Let's start at the bottom of the home screen, tap smart. You'll get two tabs, one automatic, as the name suggests, it will run automatically without any input from you. You just provide it with a trigger, say run at a certain time daily, and you will be activated automatically. Next, tap to run. The name is self-explanatory. I'm going to start with creating a scene in the tap to run first. You will see why I start here as we go along. Since this space is empty, I can start by tapping on create scene or the plus icon. Here I want to launch tap to run. Next, I want to run a device. I want to run my phone charger, so I'll tap on this one. Just one option here, so tap on switch one and I want the switch to turn on. Then tap save and then tap next. So we have set our first task. I know my phone needs about an hour and a half to be fully charged. I want to add a delay for this duration. Tap on the plus icon. Select delay the action and set the time to 1 hour 30 minutes and tap next. After 1 hour 30 minutes, my phone should be fully charged. I want to turn off the plug. So I go back to the plus icon, run the device, phone charger, switch one, and select off, then save, and next. Now I can change the name, but I'm going to leave it at this for now. Scroll down and make sure that the show on home screen is turned on and save. This will create a button for at your home screen so that you can easily run this in. Next, we're going to do an automation. I usually plug in my phone to charge before I go to bed. So as before, since it's empty, we can tap on create scene or the plus icon. Now I want to run it on the schedule. So we'll select schedule, give it a start time. Mine is 2 a.m. And I want it to be repeated every day. Okay, selected every day. Tap on the back arrow. Now you see the repeat status saying every day. Tap next at the top. Since we already have created a tab to run smart scene, we don't have to recreate all the steps. We can reuse the scene. So tap on select smart scene, select tap to run, and our phone charger scene, and next. Rename the scene if you want. I'm going to call mine daily phone charging. And tap save, and save again. You will be asked, automation created, start using now, tap yes. If you say no, your automation will not be activated and it won't run. 
Should you be interested in getting some of these smart plugs, I'll put my affiliate links in the description below to check it out. If you find this to be useful, please hit the like button and tell YouTube to recommend it to more viewers. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the bell icon to be notified whenever I upload a new video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.